my god, look at that. Look how beautiful the island is. I just caught this side of this in a vitrine here at Lindau, one of the local shops. And I just had to stop and look at it and see how beautiful it was. And I still cannot believe that I am here. Not only am I here, but I'm here with arguably 60 of some of the world's most accomplished scientists. What a treat. Yesterday we attended Roger Chen's small discussion group. One of the things that struck me from this discussion group is that uh, Roger Chen actually gave up the monetary part of his Nobel Prize entirely to charity. Just seeing how the Nobel laureates go ahead and they communicate those kind of ways of doing that is just powerful to me. I wish I had the opportunity to shake his hand, but he was surrounded by so many people. And, uh, but he's, he's definitely a dynamic lecturer. I think one of the best parts of the Lindau meeting is that you can see laureates everywhere on the island, not just at the discussions, but also in cafes, on the streets, everywhere. So I've devised this little game that I'm going to call laureate hunting. There's one right there. There's another. There's Sir Hill Crotto. He's actually not only a Nobel laureate, but also a knight. now done. I made a lot of great friends, met some fantastic laureates, and made connections that will hopefully last for many years to come, hopefully even decades. So now I've got my bags packed. I'm headed to the Euroscience Open Forum in Torino, Italy, and I hope that you enjoyed my video diaries, and I hope that this inspires more students to come to Lindau and really experience the Lindau meeting of Nobel laureates. Oh, can't forget this, of course. <laughs>